Bug got an upgrade. This manipulator builds on the robotic base I made in one of my previous videos and gives it the ability to interact with its environment by lifting and carrying small objects. Stick around and I'll show you the CAD, code, and a demonstration of Bug testing out their new arm attachment. Here is the design for Bug updated with the arm attachment. I've designed it so that the joints are driven directly by the servo motors and so that the arm lay relatively flat on top of the robot when it's in its retracted position. When the arm extends, it reaches first up and then out so that Bug can grab things above and in front of it. The pincher linkages have partial gear profiles that mesh together so they can open and close together while being driven by a single motor. The code for this project builds on top of the code used for a previous version of Bug. Up top, I define some constants to constrain the range of motion of each joint. Then in the loop of the program, I have some logic to control the position of each of the servo motors. The shoulder and the elbow joint can be controlled independently of one another, but this would allow the user to accidentally run the arm into itself if they aren't coordinated properly. To prevent this, I have decided to tie these two controls together by defining their motion as a function of a common variable. For the pincher, I have decided to map the angle of the pincher to one of the knobs on the remote so they can grab things of varying size without stalling out the motors. I have also linked a button on the remote to the pincher so that it closes when the button is pressed. Everything else in this program, including the communication and motor controls, remain the same as the original program. Now let's get on to the build.